guys. Good afternoon. Hi, Koi. Alright, go AFK. Thanks for being here, by the way. Hello, hello. And then again. Oh, frick. Uh, I can't do the... I forgot I can't do the Archon Quest. Heck this. Oh, come on. Bruh. Mm. I'm so annoyed. Fine, let's do this shit. This shit. Real quick. Hi, Mommy Yuki. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello. How's your day? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a quick stream for today. Since I start, I started a bit late. I should be. I should have started around. 4 p.m. but I had work to finish a while ago. Oh, finally we're gonna meet Charlotte. Huh? Isn't that Charlotte? Who's her friend and what are they chatting about? Hi Kaz and Miko. Thanks for being here, you guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Backseat watching again because I'm doing something. Oh, alright. Thank you, Kaz. Yes, I am back again. Day five. <laughs> Lol. Been good. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Have you been busy, Mommy Yuki? And oh my pala. I haven't asked last time, but are you still streaming? Hey, please, with the cherry on top, Charlotte. Journalist extraordinaire. Please tell me you're joking. What? I read that a gang of criminals tricked the Gardamex by disguising themselves as blubber beasts. It's what? true, isn't it? It has to be. I've invested all my savings into graph adversarial technology <laughs> and even taken out a sizable bank loan. Oh my god. I'm begging you. Begging you like the oh biggest beggar in all of Begdom. Oh my oh my <laughs> I need you to calm down a little, Miss Lapine, Pauline. I admire your passion for your research, and I don't mean to dash your hopes for those um big ticket orders. I know, right? I'm back with the streaming streak. <laughs> Hi, after seven months, indeed. But I'm afraid I'm not joking. The Blubber Beast incident was a short story mailed to us by an anonymous amateur author, written in the style of a true story. Ooh. I mean, I'm taking advantage of my vacation this week. Our classes will resume by next week. Hi. It sounds like they're just discussing a story, but why does this Miss Lapine Pauline seem so distressed? Funnily enough, I actually remember being in a meeting where the editing team was debating the potential risk of misleading the public with this story. But to our surprise, they fully supported us printing it. They figured that the false intel would be a great way to dupe potential criminals into wearing ridiculous costumes when breaking the law. In truth, Gardamex are extremely sophisticated in their capabilities. They can identify criminals just as reliably as the best human guards, so a crude disguise isn't going to get you far. Since we ran that story, the Maison Guardianage has made a slew of arrests, including, uh, one phantom blubber beast, a blubber. titanic red crown blubber. finch, and a specter man. So I knew this story had helped out law enforcement, but this is the first time I'm learning of an innocent citizen being deceived by it. <laughs> Uh-oh. She really sounds like she's in pain. Um... Hey, Charlotte! Traveler! Paimon! It's you! I was in the area taking some photos for a story when I got to talking to Miss Lapine Pauline about her research. She read an article in the Steambird about a criminal who evaded Gardamek detection by disguising themselves as a blubber beast. Inspired by this story, she spent a lot of more on researching counter-criminal image recognition technology. Her aim was to improve Fontaine's public security by developing oh. a device that could enhance Gardamek's target recognition capabilities. Well, that makes sense. That explains why she's acting so... so much. She was hoping I could write an article to spread awareness about image recognition technology. She even paid me for the article and gave me one of her prototype devices before I could get a word in. What the heck? That, uh, that woman already spent a lot of mora for this one. Sheesh. Who wouldn't overreact like that if you've spent a lot of mora on that? 
she gonna be in the next banner? I'm not sure. Although I think her re her run last time was already finished. Eh? I wanna pull for her as well. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was just a fictional story, and her efforts oh. and aspirations were all in vain. Shit. I tried to let her down gently, but she's so finding sad. it all very hard to accept. This is a new situation for us too. It's such a pity. It seems like the author was only trying to make the story interesting. And the Maison Guardianage only had Fontaine's best interest in mind. She's just a victim of misunderstanding. Wait, Miss Lapine Pauline? What are you doing? I'm gonna pick a fight with a Gardamech, <laughs> head to the opera at Bicles, and get a one-way ticket to the Fortress of Meropede. Oh my god. That way, I won't have to repay my debts. It's the only way I can afford to keep on living. <laughs> Whoa, there's no need to go that far. I mean, come on, look at you. You wouldn't even dent the Gardamech's armor. In all likelihood, they'd only hold you up at the Maison Guardianage for a few days before letting you out. And actually, instead of going into the technicalities of that, how much did you actually invest? <laughs> 270,000 mora. Sheesh. Okay. Well, escaping to the Fortress of Meripede over a sum like that seems like a last resort. Surely there must be other options. Four star. Not anymore. I used to be an equipment supplier to the Fontaine Research Institute before that blew to pieces. And now I'm just a small-time engineer. It's not just my savings that are gone. It's my whole future as a graph adversarial technology specialist and my dreams of becoming a billionaire one day. It's so sad. <laughs> my life is over. Don't despair, Miss Lapine Pauline. I think I know a way for you to turn this around. This prototype mm. you've given me, the camera lens for image recognition sample collection. It's really quite something. The rapid focal length adjustment is a very useful function in its own right. It's sure to make many journalists' jobs much easier. So your research efforts thus far are by no means in vain. The technology you've developed may have many applications that you've never even considered. Hello, Ron. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hello, Blue. Really? Absolutely. I've been working as a journalist for the Steambird for a long time now. So keep calm, take heart, and start thinking about mass production. I can't believe it! If this is true, then I can look into setting up a whole camera lens development pipeline! Oh, maybe I should consider taking out another loan. That way, I can rapidly improve the lens production process, be the first to market, and prepare to battle mm. for dominance in the camera industry! Oh, she has big dreams, alright. I support. <laughs> <laughs> dreaming about your pipelines for a minute. Just take it one step at a time and see how it goes. There's no sense in putting all your eggs in one basket before things are even off the ground. <laughs> but it's true. Being overly ambitious might come back to bite you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I can probably speak to some people I know and license my image recognition device to a workshop to raise some funds. There's no time to lose. I need to get to work. Early bird gets the worm. That is true. Uh, can <laughs> you believe her? She just ran off. Paimon's pretty sure our vice went in one ear and out the other. <laughs> it's understandable. When inspiration and passion strike at the same time, it's all too easy to throw yourself headfirst into your work and forget about everyone around you. A lot of journalists are the same way when they're first starting out. But don't you worry. I'm going to write an article on all this and I'll be checking in on her regularly. Her research has the potential to benefit the entire journalistic community. It's reassuring to know that you'll be looking out for her, Charlotte. Actually, you know what? Why don't you two take this prototype lens? It takes the right person to get the most out of a new technology. Thanks a lot, Charlotte. What a nice surprise. We were just curious about what you guys were talking about. Totally didn't <laughs> expect to get a free gift out of it. <laughs> nice. You're welcome. I got something out of this, too. The beginnings of a very interesting news story. The boundaries between real news reports and news like fiction must mm. not be blurred, even when there's a compelling justification for doing so. Give her a delusion now. What? <laughs> Why a delusion though? <laughs> yes, that's how I'll phrase it to the editors when I give them my feedback. Ooh, we now have a lens. After Charlotte of Museum. There's still more? Oh, we can now do the Archon Quest. Nice. 
Okay, okay. Ooh, let's go. Finally. Is Vignier going to meet with Bache finally? Bache, Bache. <laughs> Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Back then, I drank water from the primordial sea. It heightened my sensitivity to the hydro element. Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Vashe! Ayun! Yay! <gasps> Aww! <laughs> yes, that's it! So you heard it too! Vinier, it's me! It's me, Vache. 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 I'm here. I'm here. Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you. I'm finally here for you. Hey, wait. Be careful. Hey, wait. Vinier, is that you? It's me, Vache. Vinier. Vache. Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. Yeah. The reunion of lovers. You. You look a lot older than I remember. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vignier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Oh, she... What are you saying? If not for you... I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown old and died alone, with nothing but the tears on her cheeks. It's all because of your selfishness, Vashe. It's all because of you. You... Wait, you are not Vignier. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignier. I am... The sacrifices. Every woman who died by your hand. As our bodies dissolve, our consciousness is flowed back to the primordial sea. Oh, she knows what happened. Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea. And we were no longer individuals. But we became one. Just as streams of water come together in the sea. Oh. I'm Cressy. <clears throat> I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. The only one I am not is Vignier. Damn. Hi, Len! Welcome back, by the way. Thanks for being here again. But water, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the ocean. And... Why? But then, where is Vignier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. This is what you get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? I, um, I... Oh. You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignier's beloved. 
From the moment your first victim died, and her consciousness merged with Vindier's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. They must have wanted me to lure Marcel from here, here from the very beginning. No! Vindier! She can't hate me. Let me see her. Please, have mercy. I know, right? <laughs> the guilt trip is so real. Welcome back, by the way, P-Dash. Thanks for being here. <laughs> you still don't understand. Hmm. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignere. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. Oh. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. Um, revenge time. Vache. 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 Drown. <laughs> Several days late. What? <laughs> Marcel is the Lulu for real. Yes. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Wow, shopping on a rainy day. Sim kay Ocean it. Believe in this. <laughs> it. Anyways, wanna eat salted crackers together? Eat well, Ron. Shopping is stressful in its own way, though. Huh. Well met, partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, hey, Nanya! It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you! Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. Ooh. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court, all attended. Ah, nice. So his name's definitely been cleared now. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted, stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. Ah, I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no way she'd just let me go. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Yeah. Way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called... The True Heart of Darkness. Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. To wow. be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so, we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh, yeah. She told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now... Her wish has finally come true, too! Anyway, Oops. I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to! Oh, and in other news, I also took Clorand out for a meal. Oh, yay! They've made up already! That's so nice! Besties for life, Charot. Hello, Imorag! Welcome back! Thanks for coming back. YouTube 10? What's YouTube 10? The fact that Via is not holding her parasol during a rain is so like very I know, right? 
they're like all of them are like walking casually doing shopping on a normal rainy day without a without an umbrella or a parasol Lol. oh are you two on better terms now mm. while you were investigating vache's headquarters Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> Paimon also thought Clorand wasn't actually a bad person. It's always good to have more friends. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, Actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. Hi, Curtis. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, no data. All right. Because you didn't watch my favorite stream. Ah, thanks, Emo Reg. But why are you using data though? What happened to your Wi-Fi? <clears throat> that includes me, too. Miss Navia, indeed. Can I come too? Mm -hmm. We want to go too. We also think Callus is a really admirable person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you. There might not have been such a positive ending. Uh, yo, no, not that. Cursed ships again. <laughs> Learning and Navia? No! And in that case, everyone, <laughs> let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah, you're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now. I wonder. <laughs> This is where my father's grave is. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, Ron, you started this. <laughs> Malus and Silver, please stop. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure. It can't be. Hmm? Isn't that Durvalette? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Ooh. Huh? Navia? Hmm. Hmm. My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. <laughs> Silver, huh? How about Zhongli and the new Berlet? <laughs> oh, and I'm all with my mom waiting for Albert. Oh, alright. Alright, alright. You guys take care and enjoy. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. Hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervillet. In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Hmm. Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice, anyway? Oh, that makes sense. For him to be asking that question. There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. Oh. Rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, oh. should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. Mm. But Mr. Callus proved me utterly and decisively wrong. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, 
from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. If I ever met Nubinette, I would proceed to find her real and make <laughs> What the heck? Alright, there's also Ryu Sassy! Ryu Sassy? Ryu Stel- <laughs> Ryu and Ryu. A justice that's higher than life itself. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callis in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. Mm. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful <laughs> on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Yeah. Ah, so Navia and Nervalette seem to have made their peace as well. Aww. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Karina and Yubile- What? Really? <laughs> Paimon closure, then hug then. <laughs> Well, you're not usually supposed to fire on someone's grave. <laughs> Easy. Hug? Why not? I don't know. Huh? Oh, Paimon didn't know that was a thing? Why? Why? Paimon doesn't know what she would do if she can't fly! <laughs> oh no! Paimon hopes Miss Navia won't be too mad! <laughs> Traveler was messing with Paimon. Anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? Oh, wait, I want to take a picture with Navia. Hmm, no, not Jean -Luc. Who should we get? Oh man, if only I have I had child, I would have used him. So it's gonna be like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift. <laughs> hmm, who should I use? Jean. Jean is nice. She's another powerful woman in what? Girl power. Or uh, who should I use? Ningua. Uh, Hmm, there's no one. I guess I guess I'll just use the traveler. There's still a long road ahead. Another pictorial session, you guys. I'm really sorry. Pictorial sessions are important to me. <laughs> Someone with a sweet tooth. Yeah. Let me just hide the traveler for a bit. That's a nice wallpaper. Level one, t Tig is yeah. I just received Dignari though, like I think three days ago, <laughs> and I didn't have much time yet to farm for him. <laughs> It's 
Sorry na. <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. Oh, never mind. I need a picture with the traveler. Okay, that's good enough. Um, Paimon's really sorry, Navia, but Paimon did something pretty disrespectful just now. Oh my god. She took it seriously. Uh, what are you saying, Paimon? I don't think I get it. Well, aren't you not supposed to fly around someone's grave? Yeah, she is so elegant, I know, right? <laughs> Photographer yarn, yes. Pinaposing si Navia, yes, yes. That's her job. She's the model right now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> hey, traveler! Why did you mess with Paimon again? <laughs> That's so cute. Anyway. Oh, we can take a picture with him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I thought the quest would start right away when we go near him. Ooh, look at that. The Celestia. Oops. That is so nice. Sorry guys, pictorial session muna. I am good. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, we can take a picture of Jongli. Sure. Look at that. I like it. Me likey. Besties for life. <laughs> Geo and the Hydro version of themselves. You will let cleansing the world, I know, right? The wonder called Kinoko is so giving. <laughs> you keep saying Our it's so giving. So Gen Z. 2D is. Yes, Kinoko means mushroom, and Wanderer definitely looks like a mushroom because of his hat. <laughs> oh my god, because of the sunset, they look like lovers. No! Jongli x Nirvillet. <laughs> Nor. I just want them to be besties. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Did Miss Navia invite you to come pay your respects to her father? Mm -hmm. We ran into Navia on the streets today, so we just followed her here. I see. I see. Then is there something that I can help you with? Uh... Run into you 
like this since you're usually super busy. So we figured we could try to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine. And it would be my pleasure to return the favor. About the water from the primordial sea. So, at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the primordial sea. But, what is it really? Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the sea we know today. Most of Tevat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. You like he. Doki Kinoko means poisonous mushrooms. Oh. It sounded cute though, what the heck? Doki Kinoko. <laughs> and then the real meaning is poisonous pala. <laughs> huh. So it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it primordial then. But today the primordial sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. Oh. What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case, or a remnant from a truly ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nervalette. But if that's the case, then why would people, uh, at least people from Fontaine, dissolve in that kind of water? Indeed. Why would the Primordial Sea, which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead. Ooh, interesting. To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown secrets around the people of this land. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Hmm, yes. About the prophecy that has been circulating around. That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne, <laughs> but the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's right! It was Lenny that told us back then! And that about covers all the main points! Yay! Entering 4.1 finally! Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left to the world before she passed away. Oh. A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. This is the first time that we've ever heard of it. Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. The rising sea levels and the ability of the people of Fontaine to be dissolved. Sheesh. We should be more vigilant and stay on the watch for further signs. Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, she has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. If the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to solve it? <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? What about child? My apologies. My investigation has still not reached its conclusion. However, I still believe the judgment of the Oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. <laughs> the primordial sea looks like a slurpy. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not from the Fontaine nation, Ron. Or you'll probably would have tried to t taste it already. <laughs> For many years, I have been quite aware that the Oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each case. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also possesses other traits, such as self-awareness. Which is all to say, I have been prepared for a situation like this for a long time. <sighs> So when Lenny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the Oratrice's core is stored... I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my conjecture. I will add that to the list of items to investigate. In any case, I am inclined to believe that the Oratrice does have a methodology all its own. 
We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. She managed to bluff her way through it, though. The <laughs> time-tested twin tricks of bravado and drama. While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, for now, we regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger will just have to bide his time in the fortress of Meripede. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will most certainly compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. Meripede sounds like centipedes. Sounds creepy. If you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a no holds barred fight with you. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? That's probably true, though. Child will probably ask for a duel with New Roulette since he is the one who, uh, what do you call this, interrupted Child while he was transforming. Lol. About my sibling. Your sibling? Another blonde haired traveler? I'm sorry, but I've never seen anyone who matches that description. If he ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure he followed our laws to the letter. And had no reason to appear on the stage of the opera Epicles. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Very well. It was my honor to provide you with what answers I could. I very much enjoyed conversing with you. It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility behind and return to Palais Memonia. Palais Memonia. You really are super busy, Monsieur Nervalet. Paimon thought you only came here to pay your respects today because you had the day off. Crime and villainy do not have the day off, True. and so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. Yeah. All right, all right, you've got a point, huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Yay! OMG! Sula base in the court of Funcane and have a rest. Navia said something about having a place ready for us there, didn't she? Come on, let's go! It's finally done, oh my god. <sighs> We've made progress in four days? In two hours per day. Not bad, I guess. Solidify! Nice and spicy! Mark Cody. Is it Mark Cody or Mark Cody? This behind was also fulfilling a contract. Anyway. Maybe I'll just open up the waypoints and then continue the story quest by... Yeah, tomorrow. Because it's already near 6. Mm -hmm. 4.1 Archon Quest. Yeah, I'm gonna start with that tomorrow. <laughs> Yep, we are playing. I'm just gonna go open up the way. Hee <laughs> hee. Before 6 p.m. If y'all wanna join, feel free to. Uh, only if you want to, of course. I don't want to do the quest yet. I want to open up the map. Live up the map. Go to a person mode. Ew. Oh, we didn't get the ano! The Hydroculus near the ship. Near Navia's father's grave. What's that? Hmm. Hey, Mora. Hi, Froggy! Archia! Welcome back! Thanks for being here. It's okay, though. I actually lay, uh, started a bit late. 
Welcome back again, Curtis. We are America, nor make an account for a non. <laughs> for what do you call this? Asia. We took a fat nap. That's nice. Happy for you, girl. A fat nap is really nice. What's that? Oh, come on. Not fine. Let's go save this guy. Next on the agenda. Shushio. How do you pronounce that? Join Suo. Arlequino animated short? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I will. I'll go stream it here <laughs> before I end the stream. Hopefully, I get the the standard banners. Good luck, Ron! Research Institute of the Girls. Wow, well, we have opened a new. Damn. Okay. I'm just here to open up the waypoints. Come on. Where's that? Nice. <laughs> Every time I join, Koi is gone. Oh, it's okay. Koi, are you still there? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go for this one. interesting though what is that sheesh it's a waterfall floating from above and it's a broken bridge oops i didn't get that <clears throat> Really? They're tiring? You. Come on, I just oh, wanna open up the weapons. Time to go. Where is that? <laughs> oh, there it is. Minecraft Rio. <laughs> Not the teaser, the animated short. Uh, okay. Follow the wind. Follow the wind. Ooh, what is that? 
a reward every now and then. Is this a boss? A dancing boss? Or it's a different one? Hmm. Hi, Froggy. <laughs> For now on, I will have two accounts and I will maybe use Asia because it's like eating mochi, but the mochi isn't mochi ing. What the heck? What does that mean? What is that? You know what? I'm just gonna check check out what this is and then I'm gonna proceed to Ooh. This is it the dancing enemy? What? Time to go. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Where's the exit? Goodbye. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ballet. Yeah. I wanna see those two. Ooh, what is that? The two enemies were where they are dancing. Like ballet. Where's the exit? <laughs> Lol. Where is that? Oh, that's. Come on, Kazuka. Near the opera epicless, really? Oh, I didn't notice that. Really? Oh, this one! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh my god, didn't notice that. <laughs> I haven't checked it yet, lol. Anyway, let's just light up the map. What's this? Oh, yeah, Mora. Give me that. Jomli needs the Mora. Oh, pine cones. Cypress wood. Oh well. Oh, where are we going? Now? Hi, hello. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello. I'm good. How about you? How are you? Traveling by land, insolent fool. For I am fishing. The prince says in Teotalong's. Teotalong? What? Sovereign of the. Eh, Imenag. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I like to eat burgers, same. And pizzas. Why well, I like this background music? Nice, there we go. It's all light, lit up. Oh, never mind, there's still more here. Okay, last. What? I can't teleport? <gasps> no! Even here? Or maybe I should. Wait, let me. Okay, never mind. Well, Continental Explorer. There we go, never mind. 
<laughs> I thought they were not allowed to use the teleport waypoint lol. I would cry. Stop someone from laboring you. Oh, treating you? Oh, what? Oh, come on, I opened up a quest! No! Ah! Ujin. <laughs> the local adapters needs the tiny little teapot. Ooh, tiny little teapot drill. One calls home for now. Dude, I just want to open up the waypoints. Mandatory. Oh, so I can't open up the waypoint. Uh, waypoints without doing this one. Okay. All right. Noted. Noted. Thanks for telling me. You know us? Oh, alright. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll go exit this after I after this part. I don't want to do the quest yet. <laughs> I want to focus on uh, what do you call this? The Archon quest. I want to catch up on the Archon quest. Village of Shen Yu Vale. Yes, and has been too much for its cool, fragrant. Ito pala. Oh! So, this is what you guys are talking about the Shen Yu Vale. Why is there no voiceover? Oh, man. She looks pretty. Is this gonna take long? If it's gonna take too long, I mean this intro, this introduction part. If it is, I'm just gonna exit Genshin and watch the Arlequino uh, short version. Can you veil? <laughs> For the kidnapping, lol. Magnanimous event. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can become fish. I'm sorry, lady. But I'm gonna leave you now here. I've got work to do. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, let me open up YouTube. Uh, Arlequino... Which one of these? Okay, I'm gonna share a screen right now. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, there we go. I have a few references. You guys see it? Is it this one? Let me just exit Genshin at the moment. There we go. Seven minute this one? Alright. Alakino is so hot, I know! <laughs> let me get to see the arcade animated short. <laughs> Alright, let me just turn off the AC and turn on the lights. Real quick, BRB. It is already dark. It is 6 p.m., you guys. Okay, there we go. You were born into this world all alone. But here. So loud.
Sorry. Wait, let me adjust the volume. You're in the house of the hearth. You will grow up to be strong. Your goal is to learn, to compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters in battle, and become king. Where's Pear Ware? Didn't she want to hear the story? Excuse me, Mother. She's doing a funeral for her spider. That child. Maybe her curse is flaring up again. Clairvy, see to her. Oh, okay. I brought cake. You, you want some? Sure. You must know spiders don't eat cake. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the birds so cute. from their cage. Sunbeams filter through the foliage. Flames grow with immortal courage. And I hope you won't be tainted by fate. Mothers usually argue with their daughters. I heard that in Smeshnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up... Shall we go see it together? <laughs> I should have pruned this flower long ago, not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Wouldn't you agree? qualities. Sadly, they're all so useless!
Jesus. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes and bestow upon you a new name. This title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear, my poor, mad, cursed name. I will raise you as my child, like a strict and unfeeling father. Sheesh. He, she is the daddy. Grabe. That's so cool. That's so cute though, Cappuccino. Cappuccino is so... She, um, I keep saying he... She's so cool, what the heck? I can't even. I missed out on, on a lot of um, trailers from Genshin. Oh my god. I missed out on her as well. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> Guess I'll just catch up later on. Pass, but invite her for to a cup of tea, no? Yes, go. Smash. <laughs> what the heck? Father than mother. Oh, alright. That explains. That's true. It's her trauma with the quote unquote her mother. What is this? Man, I missed out on a lot. But anyway, you guys. <laughs> Saving for her. Yeah, let's all save for her. She's worth it. Yeah, me. Eh, ay. May pa background music na lang muna. Sige, background music muna tayo. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for joining the stream. Cappuccino's best friend died. Even her best friend? Oh yeah, right. Is that the one she killed? Oh, I don't know, the pink hair. Useless. <laughs> Useless place, really? Of the older Arlecchino, really? Hmm. Animal. Oh, no. What's her element? Any? Is it fire? Damn. Yeah, it makes sense if she turns out to be an animal. The one she fought. Oh, damn. It it would make a lot of sense if she's an animal. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna have to end the stream now because it's six. I'm really sorry I started a bit late today, but yeah. Thank you to Koi, Mami Yuki, Kez, Miko, Ron, Lan, P Dash, wait, who else? Lan, P Dash, Imorag, Curtis, Chia, Halal, and Miss EA. Thank you all so much for stopping by on our stream today, although it's a bit short. <laughs> it's just for one hour, but thank you all so much. At least now I finally finished uh, 4.0's. Archon Quest. Ooh, we can now finally. We can now go for uh, the next version 4.1. Yeah, Pyro. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pyro. Fire to lazy I forgot about the terms. Na. Pyro. And I also saw a short clip that she can fly. Like um Scara. That's so amazing. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Teapot enthusiast. It's so cute. 4.1, two chapters. 4.1, one chapter. Okay. 4.2 is gonna be quick, I guess. 
Alright. See you again tomorrow, you guys. Have a great night, afternoon, or morning. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Charged attack. Ooh, it's so okay. Columbina is playable. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care.